Hi, my name is Silver from Student27. Today I'm going to be breaking down on So Strange by Me Computer, produced by me and Matt Boyswag. I think this beat is originally called The Nut at 107 BPM, but it sounds a lot faster than that, and I'll get into why it does sound a lot faster than that. Uh, the uh, pad this beat started with, Matt Boyswag sent it to me. It was made on the Korg Minilog, which is an analog synth. We use it quite oftenly in our beats just because it has uh, really nice dark ambient pads with uh, textures. So this is what the first pad sounds like. And you hear kind of like the little bell texture in there. We thought the pad sounded a bit lonely, however, so we added this pad from Hive. Those little notes you hear are just like volume automations for the bounce. We then added a melody. I think this is our favorite part of the beat for both of us. Sorry. smell and then moving on to the drums i'll play the drums together first and this part so um ableton producers uh we have like drum racks in ableton i know this is like uh this is basically the equivalent of like the step sequencer in fl Usually I don't use a drum rack because we usually put out our drums in audio. Um, that's just for like the quality, like some the things come out like louder, cleaner, and it's just, I don't know, visually pleasing. But I used a drum rack this time around. Um, so the, it's like stuff like this, but we only use the uh, hi-hat here and the rim. So if I solo those... A lot of like rim spamming, that's why the beat sounds pretty fast. Simple kick to go with that. And then there's this little zap here too. Acts as a perk. And then there's this like uh, kind of bit crushed clap. I think it's from the uh, Laxity pack on uh, Splice. Some open hats. So yeah, really bouncy. And then we have the um, 808 in this speed, which is a um, sub bass. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. It's nice um, when you use sub basses to kind of make like the notes a bit shorter, like this. Because if you had it like this, it takes up like a lot more space in the mix and it doesn't sound as bouncy compared to if you have like shorter notes and add in a long note for variation. And then the sub bass is obviously layered with the kick here. So yeah, not, not really much happening in the drums, it's kind of like the same sounds, like spamming over and over again. We have this part over here, which is like a breakdown. We got the Reese. This box. Because 
this beat is so simple, I'd play another beat or like sh break that beat down real fast because it's also like pretty much the exact same formula in the beat. Roxa is on this beat too, he sent this pad. Nice pad with like really melancholic texture. This time we're not using a sub bass, so it's more like a drill 808. Kick. I clap on every two because this, when you're like making beats at such low BPM, you kind of want it on the second instead of the third as usual just for the bounce. Got some snares. And open at spam. I just use bass because like the same formula. Gotta have the sign lead mal. So yeah, that was the breakdown of So Strange by Me Computer, produced by me and Matt by Swag. We also broke down the other uh, beat, I think it's called Cloak and Dagger on the Beat Store, uh, produced by me, Matt by Swag, and Roxa from Stern 27 too. Uh, I'll definitely be doing more of these beat breakdowns. I think I'm going to do an Uno the Activist song next, probably Do Too Much or Where Were You. I was thinking I'd do a uh, breakdown of the Deafening Noise song uh, by David Shoddy and Casper too. But like definitely let me know if there's something I produce that you'd like me to break down. These are pretty fun to do and I usually get questions about beats while I'm live streaming and I feel like I'm not really giving like a good answer while I am in the process of making a beat. So yeah, I'll definitely look at like the comment section or if anyone wants something. Uh, yeah, I'll let the beat play out and I'll see you in the next video. Truly